peanut butter mocha. I'm in St. John for the next couple days. So I've heard that St. John has 85 bars and restaurants in a span of 10 blocks. There's a lot of art going on and I can't wait to spend the next few days here. This popular spot started in a deli where it was a deli by day and Italian restaurant by night. Make sure you save room for the cheesecake because it is divine. Loved all the space we had at Chipman Hill Suites. They're located in the middle of everything in some of the oldest buildings in Uptown St. John. I love a good coffee shop and Rogue Coffee is fantastic. Not only is it cute inside, but outside they have this little alleyway where they've got a nest area, lots of benches. It looks onto some street art. Also the actual coffee there is fantastic. I am trying the autumn latte. And unlike the pumpkin spice lattes that you get right now, this is actually made from real ingredients, not junk. And once you have this, you will not want to go back. I'm here at St. John City Market. It's the first thing I wanted to do today because this is the oldest continuing city market in Canada. As soon as you enter the market, just off to the left, there is this little wine bar called Uncorked where you can get wine, beer, cocktails, and then also for lunch, if you want, you can get food in the market and bring it in here. I'm gonna go for the spicy pork. Not too spicy at all, but super flavorful. And then the beef. Mmm. Okay. I can see why so many people like this. And then sweet potato noodle. Mm. This is a deal. This is really good. I gotta say, the soup doesn't really look like much. Today they had a special for Big and Mac scallops, but we heard the fish and chips are one of the most popular items on the menu. It looks so good. The color looks fantastic. Mmm. Beer battered in Moosehead beer. Syrian family opened this great new coffee shop. You can get Canadian coffee and sweets, 
but you should try the Arabic coffee and also the pumpkin baklava. If you come to St. John, you must love hills. I don't love them, but then it doesn't make me feel as bad when I'm eating so much in a day. Good exercise. I recommend reservations for Vegilution because it is so, so popular. The food here really is fantastic. The Korean sticky tofu bites was great to start the meal, and the Revolution burger with the vegan cheese was so good, I did not miss the meat. You can't beat happy hour hopscotch. I recommend the bourbon and basil and sit there thinking about what you want to eat and drink on your next trip to St. John's.